All right, let's get started. Um, Thanks everyone for joining us for our first Feature Friday. Um, if you're new to Giraffe, thanks for dropping in. And if we've worked together before, thank you so much for your continued use. Um, today uh, and for the next few months, we're going to take a detailed look at a specific feature on our Feature Friday webinars. Um, and today we're going to take a look at a feature that should get way more love, uh, the Precinct app. Um, so the Precinct app is really helpful for when you're doing um, sort of a large development and maybe there's multiple parcels that are part of that project. And it allows you to report on um, areas and FAR and uh, open space per parcel rather than for the entire um, project outline like draft typically reports on. So let me uh, get started by just showing you a um, master plan development that I put together as an example here. And forgive me as I look off to the side, my, uh, my larger screen is off to the side here. Um, so we're just going to give that a moment to load up here. Maybe I have to refresh my tab. I'm going to turn off my video because um, sometimes that messes with my bandwidth. So here we go. Perfect. All right. So what you're looking at here is a really large master plan that includes some walkable retail, um, some anchor retail, commercial space, and then some different types of residences. So we have some higher density residences here, some townhomes, and then uh, a couple of parcels of uh, single family. Now, this whole project together, you can see, you know, that um, we've got a pretty large FAR because of all of this coverage. And perhaps that might be appropriate for something close to this large, well traveled road. But you know, in this section, that's not as appropriate. So a really good way to look at this development as um, multiple parcels, which it actually is, if I turn off all of my geometry here, you'll see that we have um, five lots. So we have one large lot here, that's all of our retail. We have two lots of single family residential, a lot of um, which is the townhomes and a lot that has a combination of commercial and residential on it. So being able to report on all of these different parcels is going to be really helpful. Um, so I don't know how many of you have tried out our app browser before, but the um, all of the apps are organized here on the side of Giraffe. And the reason that we work with apps is because some projects, um, for instance, the Precinct app, which we're going to look at today, might be really helpful and other projects you might not need it. So we don't give it to you by default with every project template, um, but we do make it available if it's something that will be helpful. So I'm just going to click on this plus add app button. And that opens up our app browser here. Um, and if you go over to public apps, these are the apps that are available to everyone when they purchase Giraffe. It's just by default in your workspace, you can use it. And you can see to the far right here is our Precinct app. And I will just click Add. And then I'll close out of this. And you'll notice that a new app was added to my app browser. And I can just click into that Precinct app And we'll just give it a moment. Um, usually Zoom eats a lot of my bandwidth, so blame that Philly internet. Here we go, perfect. Um, so when you first load up the Precinct app, it's like, oh, there's not very much going on here. Um, but what we want to do is add a scenario and I'll click add scenario. And this is where we can start to define what we want Giraffe to report on. So we'll see here that it's asking me to select a geometry layer. 
and a lots layer. So it's really important when you're using the precinct app to set up your project in such a way that you have um, geometry on a layer that is separate from the layer you're defining your parcels on. Um, I am going to set this up for the project I have built here, and then I'm going to build a project from scratch in a moment. So you'll be able to see how to set up those layers properly. Um, so first I'll select my geometry layer and I have all of my buildings drawn on the default layer in this project. So I'll just select default. And then the lots layer, I created a layer called parcels. So I'll select that for lots. And now you can see this nice report has popped up. Um, so this report shows me each of the individual lots. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, these lot numbers were defined as a property and I'll show you how to do that in a second. And you also see these colored boxes next to each lot. That's defined by the color of the polygon outline that you used for the lot. I'll also show you how to set that up in a second. Um, getting these items set up in your parcels just makes the report that much easier to work with. So you definitely want to look at that. Um, and then next to that, it starts reporting on the areas of each individual lot and then the areas of each usage per lot. Um, so we can see, uh, for instance, lots two, three, four, and five all have this three bedroom unit usage in use. Whereas, um, you know, lots two and three don't have any of these one bed or two bed usages because these are all of our three bed single families. So you can start to see that the way that the areas break down for different usages here. Um, as I scroll through, you'll see some reporting for commercial, our large format retail, which is our anchor retail buildings. And all of this just gives us a better picture of what's going on on each individual parcel. Um, as I scroll all the way to the end here, we also start to see some reports like our building coverage area and our building coverage ratio, as well as open space and open space ratio, and then our FAR based on GFA. So you can see our FAR um, ratios here are different per parcel, and that is based on the um, parcel outline that we've defined rather than on the entire project outline like you would see in the urban tab. So that's really helpful to see like um, exactly what uh, coverage is happening per individual section. Um, one thing to note as well is by default, the reporting areas here. So all of these areas for um, each of these usages is your gross floor area. But if you wanted to report on gross building area or your net rentable or net saleable area, you could choose those as well. And that would give you um, some different numbers depending on what ratio you are interested in seeing. Uh, another thing you can do here is give your scenario a name. So if I just click on the scenario name here, I can name it master plan. Um, and that will just help us once we start creating a few more scenarios here to know which block here is reporting on what. Um, next here, you can export this. So once you've created this nice report, you can export it as a CSV. Um, or I can open this up in a new window. And this new window view just uh, lets me look at that tab in a sort of wider area. So especially in a project like this where I've got lots of usages, this opening it in a separate tab could be really helpful. Um, so I'll just close that. With, um, with all of that, I think we have a pretty good view of what's going on in the Precinct app tab. So. Now let's take a look at what goes into setting up your project so that this precinct app works really well. Um, so to do that, I'm actually just going to turn off this master plan so that um, we can take a look at something with some fresh eyes here. And I will zoom in. Perfect. Okay. Um, 
So I'm actually going to define a brand new parcel. Um, I'm going to do it inside the confines of my existing project, but I'm just going to define a new area that's different from the parcels I had already defined. Um, it's really easy to create just a polygon in Giraffe. There's two ways to do it. You can either go to the general drawing tools, which is down here in your bottom right, and select polygon. Or if you notice, there's a hotkey here of P, and that's my favorite way to get there. I just click P on my keyboard and I'm right into that polygon tool. Um, from here, I can use my S hotkey to snap to my corners. So I'm just gonna do that. And I'm going to create a new parcel that kind of goes along this creek here. And then snap that back here. And now I have drawn this new polygon. Now what I've noticed is I accidentally drew it on the default layer. That's fine, we'll move it to a new layer. Um, but first let's go uh, to the layer palette and I can add a new drawing layer from here. So what's really important is you want your parcels to be on their own layer for the, um, for the precinct app. So to create a new drawing layer, you just click drawing layer here. You can name it something description descriptive like lots so that you know this is where my lots are. And once I've created that, I can pop back over into my properties. I still have this shape selected and I can change which layer it's on by just choosing this drop down. So now I have this on my lots layer. And I have this polygon defined. Um, so what I think I want to do is actually make this a little bit smaller. I maybe got a little too carried away here. So I'm going to just click on these nodes. It's really easy to edit a polygon once you've drawn it. You can just click on a node and it deletes it. And as I do that, the shape gets a little bit smaller. Um, I'm noticing again that my bandwidth is struggling a little bit, so we'll just give it a second to catch up. Um, but what I actually want to do is draw another polygon right next to this. So we have two separate lots on that lots layer. So I'll click P on my keyboard again, grab my snaps, and just create that new polygon. Um, this one is on the lots layer. And now neither of these polygons have any usage applied. So if you noticed in the properties palette, the usage, it says select a usage. Um, you could choose to just leave these as a generic polygon with no usage applied, but I like to use the parcel usage, which is by default included in your giraffe base package. Um, it just helps me to know when I'm selecting something that I'm selecting the thing that I'm looking for. Now what we do want to do to get our lots to show up the way that they show here in your um, in your precinct app is we're going to apply a couple of properties to these. So I'm going to select both of my polygons and I'm just going to click on add new property. And this is a way that we can then customize these shapes. So by default, the um, giraffe parcel usage comes with a few different properties. It has a color, it has, um, you know, this is, it's a polygon type rather than being a building type, for instance. But we want to further customize this so it works well with Precinct. So what I'm going to do is find that lot number uh, property here, click on it to add. And then I'm also going to override the color of these. So I'm going to pull up my color property as well. And now I want to edit each of these individually. So this first one to the left here, I'm going to give that lot number one, and I'm going to make the color red. And then this second parcel, I'm going to name it lot number two, and I am going to make the color blue so that they stand out well. And again, just letting my internet catch up with me here. 
Um, so now um, these two parcels are set up. Let's put some geometry on them. And I'm just going to draw some buildings very quickly here, um, just for example. But what's important is I want those buildings to be on a different layer than my parcels are on. So before I start drawing, I'm going to add another drawing layer. And I'll just name this buildings for the sake of clarity. And now I can see the buildings layer is also my active layer because it has this green uh, pencil next to it. So that's great. I know I'm drawing on the correct layer. And now I'll just, I'm just going to throw some geometry down here so that we can compare these two. And then maybe this side, we'll put down some warehouse and also some large format retail. Now I've purposely on the two of these put down um, some, some of the same usage so we can compare those once we create this scenario. So, um, you know, this, this scheme might not be very attractive, but it is definitely going to give us some, some good data to look at as an example here. Also throwing down some um, landscape so we can get some of that open space included as well. Okay, so now that we have um, this geometry, we've got our lots built and we've got our buildings built, Let's add another scenario so that we can look at what these look like in the um, precinct app. So I'll just click add scenario again. It's asking me again to define my geometry layer, which this time is buildings. And then I will define my lots, which this time is the layer I named lots. And now I can see my lot number because I defined that using the lot number property. I've got one and two. And then the color as well comes through because I overrode that color using properties. And now I can scroll through here just like we did before and see, for instance, lot one has 60,000 square feet of retail and lot two has 62,000 square feet of retail. Um, we can compare our landscape and we can compare our open space ratio versus our building coverage ratio. Um, by chance, I have drawn two uh, very similar amounts of building on each of these. So those numbers are very similar, but um, you know, it, it would be helpful to see that uh, regardless. And then as well, I've got my, my FAR. Um, so another way to use this that might be really helpful is if you have two different options, two different designs that you want to compare. Um, so perhaps this first buildings design that I've drawn is option one, and maybe I want to see an option two as well. So what I'll do is just turn off these buildings and add another drawing layer, and I'm gonna call this buildings option two and maybe this time we're looking more for a residential kind of schematic so i'll just start drawing um some residential here maybe do um a couple of residential buildings maybe even have some fun and put um, some of our apartments down using that apartments flow. And then on my second parcel, I'm going to make these more um, like a garden apartment style. So I'll do a few um, sort of smaller buildings. Grab that again. Great. Um, so now that I have these drawn, they are on the buildings option two layer, but I'm using the same lots as I was before. So when I go to create a new scenario, 
I'm going to now select the buildings option two for the geometry layer, but I can reuse that same lots layer that I had before because it's the exact same lots. I'm just testing a different, um, different type of usages. So now again, you can see lot one and two still came through. They're exactly the same lot one and two here. They have exactly the same lot areas, um, but now we can compare um, you know, like my open space ratio here was a little bit lower than I've got than this new design. So this is a really great way to compare side by side different options, especially when they're um, spaced across different lots. Um, so now with that, um, I'm wondering, does anyone have any questions or anything specific that they they were interested in seeing today. I've got a question. I'm curious if you can customize what you can see, what metrics you can see on the right hand side. Yeah, um, that's definitely on the roadmap. But um, right now, these are the options that you've got. The the way you can customize it currently is if you're just reporting on gross building, gross floor, or net rentable. Um, but you know just keep watching our socials and sign up for our newsletter and you'll definitely hear when when we make some updates to our apps awesome thank, thank you. you great um well i had a really great time today thanks everyone for for coming um and if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me directly um and i hope to see you trying out the precinct app in your next project um so everyone have a happy friday and until next time um enjoy giraffe thanks so much thanks holly thanks holly thank you holly